So I'm going to start by saying I cannot do a chef's kiss. Okay. Mwah. 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 Like I, I look like I'm smoking a doobie. Like what? I don't know how to do it. Anyway, I tried to do it for thumbnail again. I even looked up how to do a chef's kiss, but somehow it comes across crazy. What's wrong with me? Anyway, today we are going to talk about chef's kiss. Fragrances, ones that I would never be without. If I if I run out of these, I'm repurchasing. They are 10 out of 10. I am addicted to them and I can't wait to share. And they all work for summer. So these are all summer related fragrances because that's the season we're heading into. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird, wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And let's get into this. So the first fragrance that I would definitely repurchase, I will never be without this in my collection, is Terracotta by Guerlain. Such an amazing fragrance. Like, I love the fragrance. I even love the bottle, even though they didn't put a sticker on this side. And so it looks super lame. That still irritates me. But the fragrance inside makes it, like, I don't care what the bottle looks like. I just love it. Like, seriously. As soon as I smell it, I am so, so, so enamored by this fragrance. It smells like a relaxing, very bougie vacation. Seriously, it's the most luxe, delicious kind of tiare coconut fragrance that you can find. So for notes, you have tiare flower, coconut, and bergamot in the opening. The middle notes are jasmine, ylang ylang, and orange blossom, and the base is vanilla and musk. I, I just smell gorgeous tiare, pr primarily tiare flower, uh, which I really, really enjoy in the summer. That said, I get a little bit of that coconut and it has a bit of an oily vibe somehow. So I think about rubbing, not a sunscreen, but a suntan oil on the skin. It specifically reminds me of Moroccan oil. So if you've ever used Moroccan hair oil, somehow it gives me that vibe. There's a little bit of a nuttiness in here, which is probably the coconut. It smells so rich and luxurious. It feels relaxing. But it's very classy. So this is a fragrance if you want to smell sophisticated, but still have that kind of sunshiny, beachy feel, but sophisticated and elegant, this is a great one to choose. And I always think it's from a movie. It was a really twisted movie, but a sweet girl and she's at this beautiful hotel. She's staying there for the summer and she meet, meets Army Hammer, like that movie. So she meets Army Hammer uh, the rest is history. So they fall in love. He's a gazillionaire. Like, how is he a gazillionaire? Like, what did he do? What did he do to earn his gazillions? But it's in kind of the 50s. But to me, I imagine that she would be wearing this fragrance because it's very sophisticated. It's demure. It's got the white florals, the yellow florals, as well as the tiara and the coconut. Uh, but it's also kind of fun and slightly sexy. So love this fragrance. Now, um, I have noticed that this is on Fragrance Net now. So for those of you in the States that have been wanting this, uh, I don't know if it's still on there. I'll have everything linked. So if it's available in the States, I'll have it linked. Uh, it's relatively affordable. Like I think it's 105 in Canada and even less in the States. So it's not a pricey fragrance, but it's such a gorgeous one. Highly recommend. The next fragrance that is perfect for summer that I cannot stop talking about. I love it. I loved it last year. I love it now is Brusseliande by Soradora. This is a lime party in a bottle. Like it smells like lime, sweet cream, rum, coconut drink. I don't think there's any coconut in this, but it smells so extremely delicious. It's kind of like a limey version of a Lyra but it's not as herbaceous as Lyra, but it's that mouth-watering, that luscious and delicious. Seriously, I love this fragrance. The one thing about Soradora is they put caramel in a lot of their fragrances, and it's just the most mouth-watering, decadent caramel there is. I swear, it's so good. I love Soradora as a brown. So this has lemon, rum, lime, Sicilian bergamot, castorium, vanilla, caramel, ginger, cinnamon, civet, CO2 extracts, extracts, iris, coriander, sesame, and styrax. 
it is so mouthwatering. I don't know how to describe it other than like a key lime pie that's kind of rummy, a, a celebration that's going on that's kind of luxe and sophisticated at the same time. I don't know what it is about this. It's that lime that I just really, really pick up and I just think it's amazing with the rum and the caramel and somehow it smells like there's a whole lot of whipped cream on the top with that lime. Makes my mouth pucker, but it's sweet and delicious and refreshing at the same time. So, so good. Love this one. Another 10 out of 10 for me, must have, would repurchase in a flash, is La Nuit Tresor Nude. This is such a great fragrance. Lancome has so many amazing fragrances, like honestly, fantastic designer brand. Like I just love so many of the fragrances from Lancome, but the nude of the La Nuit Tresor, it's pared down. It's got beautiful like rose, but it's under everything. It's got some coconut, it's got some vanilla, and it smells almost a little bit peachy. I think there's bergamot in the opening of this. So it's this beautiful, elegant coconut vanilla fragrance. I love pairing this with peach. And this is not uh, your beach type coconut at all. This is elegant, sophisticated coconut. You could wear this to a summer wedding. You could wear this as a signature fragrance. You could wear this for a date night fragrance. It is seriously so stellar. I imagine like even the color of the, the ribbon, I imagine a woman kind of wearing a very beautiful blush dress, nude pumps, pearls, that kind of feel. But with that hint of coconut, it's a little bit playful, even though it's still very, very elegant. So love this fragrance. Longevity is pretty decent. Like it's moderate, but it's not terrible. Like, you know, it's not on the low end of moderate. It's more on the high end. So like six, seven hours. I just thoroughly enjoy wearing this one. Sometimes like I find a la folie a little bit powdery. I don't find this one powdery. I feel like the rose is amped up enough that the vanilla and the rose kind of are the bed for then the bergamot and the coconut. And it's just so spectacular. And like I said, you could pair this with something like bitter peach. I love putting it with Pesho Yuzu from Kais, but any kind of peach centric fragrance, apricot centric fragrance would go amazing with this. Honestly, you could pair this with something like Kismet, Kismet for Women by Maison Alhambra. So that's, or um, I believe that's Good Girl Gone Bad. So you could pair that with this and it would be absolutely beautiful. So such a stellar, awesome fragrance. Yeah, I, I think it's discontinued, but I would be really sad if I couldn't get another bottle of this because it's so beautiful. The next fragrance that to me is a 10 out of 10, I never want to be without this one. And I just think that this is a perfect signature fragrance, um, especially for summer, but you could wear it all year round. So classy and sophisticated. And that is my Greek lover by Untamed Perfumes. I absolutely love this. I find it mouthwatering. I find it refreshing, but still super classy, but it, it feels like sunshine to me. It's so gorgeous. I also find this to be relaxing yet mood boosting. So you just feel like you're smelling summer air with this fragrance. So the notes are lemon, bitter orange, green grapes, spices, and herbal notes on the top. In the middle, you have orange blossom, quince, jasmine, and fig. And the base has honey, cypress, cedar, pine, musk, mastic, and civet. So I don't get any of the mastic in this one. I get the grapes. I get kind of that lemony um, citrus, but it's quite sweet. But the orange blossom is kind of the nucleus of this fragrance. And then you get a tiny bit of like cypress, the fruits in there, a little bit of spiciness. It's just absolutely beautiful. I consider this to be quite feminine, although it's considered unisex. Seriously, a stellar fragrance. The longevity of this is like 12 hours. So I absolutely, I adore this fragrance. So beautiful. Somehow it feels really almost whimsical, ethereal, wistful at the same time. Very classy, very elegant, uh, but it's not like your typical scent. You're getting something a little different from mainstream, uh, but absolutely 
Absolutely stunning. Love this fragrance. Now the last fragrance that is a 10 out of 10 for me, I don't ever want to be without it, is Mallow by Soradora. So mentioning two Soradoras, but for summer, these are just stellar. This Mallow is year-round worthy, just like my Greek lover. Oh, I love, I love it. Seriously. Like, ma 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 in here. It's fluffy. It's to me so much better than Oriana. Like to me, this is way, way better than Oriana, but you do have to like the violet. I never thought I liked violet. I am so addicted to this fragrance. So in the opening, it has raspberry, vanilla, and pink pepper. The middle notes are heliotrope, orange blossom, and almond. The base is violet, black musk, and amber. For me, that violet comes out so strongly. It has a marshmallowy feel. I get the raspberry. And honestly, I get more raspberry now than when I first got this. So I, I, I'm i seriously in love with this fragrance. I just think it's so freaking gorgeous. And I don't know how much hype it gets. I think the violet is probably something that's a bit tricky for people. But seriously, this is such an amazingly gorgeous fragrance. Signature scent worthy, so uber feminine, perfect for summer. You can wear this all year round, so versatile. I don't ever want to be without this fragrance. It's 10 out of 10 for me big time. What about you? Have you guys tried this? If you haven't tried it, you really do need to sniff it. Like you gotta try it because... I just, I just, uh, I'm blown away by this fragrance. The other thing about this one is that I thought it only lasted about five hours. My son smelt it on me 10 hours later. He's like, mom, what are you wearing? And it was this one. So definitely the dry down uh, lasts, uh, even though uh, I might not be able to smell it. And it projected because after 10 hours, the fact that he could smell it on my skin or clothes, like he, what, he was nowhere near me. Like I can't even get my kid to hug me these days, but he was like, you know, arm's length away and he could smell this. So love this fragrance. One of my favorites forever, for sure. What about you? Are there fragrance standouts that you want in your collection forever for the summer in particular? If so, leave them in the comments. I would love to know. And other than that, have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.